What's up, everybody? It's your favorite Predator Hunter's favorite nerd, and today we are looking at the Star Wars Black Series Grief Karga from the latest Black Series wave, and as I've said before, we're going to be looking at the whole wave. Should take us well into next week, if not beyond. And I've really kind of been looking forward to this figure because he kind of completes the Season 1 crew, which will be nice to do, you know? Always nice bringing a team to fruition. So with that, let's go ahead and get started, but in order to do so, we got to start with accessories. He comes with two pistols, they're identical, some nice sculpt work on it, and then we do even get a little bit of brown paint on the, on the handle, so I'm good with that. I like to see little accents and stuff like that. It helps bring it to life. And he'll hold those just fine. And they will go in his thigh holsters as well. And let's start with the head sculpt. It's not great, I feel like. It's not bad, and it's like, it's a case of the angles. Like, I feel like a lot of times if you're looking down on it, 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 it works all right. The, the face paint looks okay. Like, the mustache and stuff. It's just, I don't know. It's like, it's close enough. Him and Moff Gideon, it's like, they, they didn't quite nail it. It's not terrible, but it's just, we've seen them do better. And like I said, the further you get away from it, the better it looks. The, it's painted well. You know, it just doesn't look like him. All right, double ball peg from the head into the neck, single from the neck into the chest, and it actually works well, which is nice to see. So you get up to there, down to there, swivel, confused grief look, all good. You have this floating piece over top of a softer plastic with the buckle painted, nice kind of uh, wrinkles and stuff in that. The torso itself, digitally sculpted, and no real paint added to it. We have a single ball peg, from the abdomen into the pelvis. Doesn't really get you much but a swivel and a little bit of attitude. So, fine enough, I suppose. We have a diskin shoulder. It goes into a ball peg in the chest, so it gets you a little bit of a butterfly joint of all the figures to, to get one. I'm not sure why he got it, but he got it, and it works well enough. It also gets you the arm out to 90 degrees and the swivel around. Digital sculpting for the sleeves, but the texture does look nice. And then a single hinged elbow, that's, that's their new way of doing business, gets you maybe a slightly past 90 degrees and your bicep swivel. The gloves are actually painted nicely and sculpted nicely, which is nice to see. They uh, got like the little pleats and stuff sculpted in them and then the brown is painted on, the darker color is painted on. Wrist swivel, hinge up down in this trigger finger hand and same for this trigger finger hand. The belt is sculpted nicely and has the gold buckle there and then the holsters and they attach to the thighs, all of that works well. T-jointed ball joints for hips to get you out to the side to there. Forward and back, no problem. So he's super articulated. Uh, once again, digital sculpting for the pants. Nice wrinkles and such. We have a thigh swivel. The single hinge knee that gets you 90 degrees. And because it's a darker plastic, I think it works a bit better. And then the boots are sculpted and painted. And they're sculpted and painted well, which is nice to see. And then we have an ankle tilt up, down. And a rocker. My only issue is, once again, in this super dirty universe that these guys are parading around in, probably would have been nice to get some washes and some kind of weathering up on those boots. We've seen them do it in the past. It would be nice to see it here. But otherwise, pretty good. And there he is on the streets of Navarro with the rest of the crew. Shelf is really filling out. This wave pretty much did it. Um, made it look very complete, and we still got one more to go. But... Yeah, he fits in nicely. Looks good with the rest. Final thoughts wise, we'll start with the negatives, of course. And they are, once again, this figure could use more paint and washes and stuff. I'm not sure where the washes are, but like this is a very dirty kind of dusty little area that these guys always end up in on this show. And yet they look like they just got all of their gear right off of the shelf. You know, like like they just got tax money and went to the outlets. <laughs> you ever do that when you were like younger? You know, as soon as that your first like tax money comes back, you're like, boom, straight to the outlets. Like this is where these guys are going. And they just got back from the outlet store and they wore home what they bought which is tacky but yeah that's my biggest issue here the rest of it kind of works fine it's just there's a lot of sculpted detail it would have brought out a lot of those washes and depths and like cracks and nooks and crannies and all the sculpt and you know i'm just not sure why they're not doing it here they used to do some dry brushing and you know we used to get that you know maybe they're making that sacrifice for some other place i don't know my other issue is obviously the head sculpt and look it's not hateful it's not terrible it's just we've seen better we know they're capable of doing better so when it's not up to that standard Standard, it just it, it just does show out rather so that's about all I got 
Positives wise, once again, tons of sculpted detail all over the place. Most of it is done digitally, but it doesn't take away from how good it is. The texture in the pants, the textures in the tunic, the textures on the sleeves. I can feel the texture on the sleeve. Like it looks like that type of shirt. All of that's done really well. The gloves, same way, boots, same way. Like the knife has been taken to this thing and it shows. I like the incorporation of the softer plastic for the floating piece that's kind of the cape that goes over his shoulder. All of that works well. The accessories are utilized well. The articulation works really Really well including the double ball peg from the head to the neck and single from neck to the chest which often does not work well for black series on top of that the rest of the articulation works well so like this is a really solid figure overall just a couple little wonky things in the way of kind of making it really stand out but yeah definitely a recommend from me thanks for listening thanks for watching until next time take care